This weekend, I want to talk about living in the present. I have two friends, and, and their names are changed. First friend, Pat Past. Pat Past lives in the past. She lives in constant regret, often as a victim of what happened way back then, and she will recount it if you ask her. She'll bring up the past, and it will ruin the present moment. I have another friend. Uh, my other friend I'll call Fran Future. Fran Future does not live in the present time. She lives in the future. She always has get-rich-quick schemes that's going to bring her a life that is unbelievable tomorrow. And all these schemes and all these things and all these dreams of some imagined future time. So many people in today's world seem to be unable to live in the present. They're either dwelling with remorse uh, in the past or they're looking in a longing way into the future. We have no control over the past. We have no control over the future. We control our own lives only when we are willing to pay the price and live fully in the present tense. Such control is important. It gives us a steering of our lives. But we can only steer our lives if we are willing to pay the full price and live in the present. Such control is important. Leonardo da Vinci said it well. You have neither a greater nor a lesser dominion than over yourself. Living vitally in the present gives you this much-desired dominion. My friend, you can enter almost any retail store and you will find objects that have a tag on them giving the regular price and then you will see a sale price, which is much less. However, I want you to think about something. There is much in life that is worthwhile that never goes on sale. If you have some cherished goal that you absolutely know is worthwhile, it is quite possible that you can only obtain it if you are willing to pay the full price. That price often consists of living fully in this moment right now. Not putting it off or dreaming about it in a future tense or regretting what you did yesterday. It consists of concentration, decisions, and also self-discipline. Before you give up on any uh, unobtained goal that you haven't obtained so far, I ask you to also ask yourself if you have been willing to pay the full price. If you live in this present moment, and if you give yourself 100% to it, you'll find that you have a 100% life. God bless you.